Hello everybody, welcome back to another song reaction taken from my August submissions on r slash LX Heights. Head on over here if you would like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions. We are down here now into Ellie King's suggestions. Uh, two tracks from the Holy Bible. I'm only going to do one of them. I'm going to do four, obviously this one, four, four stone, seven pounds. At first I thought that was like forced like first, um, because I plan on doing this album at some point. It's been requested a lot ever since I started doing album reactions back in 2018. Uh, <clears throat> and I still plan on doing it. So I'm just going to do this as like a, a sampler or a teaser. Um, I decided which, I couldn't decide really which, because yes is the opening track, but uh, this might be a little bit more up my alley. I don't know. We'll see. But this is an art rock gothic rock song and honestly like looking at the at the cover from from this 94 album um it looks like some kind of like uh was it cannibal corpse it looks like some kind of like horrific like you, you can't quite pinpoint what kind of genre it is uh and it's just like alt rock post-punk hard rock punk rock gothic rock glam punk like i, I cannot I've never heard anything from this album and I found it so interesting every time it gets recommended because I'm like, what is this thing? I don't know. Um, but yeah, been requested a lot, a lot, and it looks very terrifying, but maybe I'm just projecting. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's head on over here and this one. Yes. Okay. So this is a five minute track. Um, Let's just dive right on in, guys. See what we got. I eat too much to die. I'm not enough to stay alive. I'm sitting in the middle of my
okay let's uh let's 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 return to earth here musically the song features art rock riffs and the extensive addition of guitar reverb the verse in the first half of the song revolves around an arpeggiated diminished seventh chord lyrically the song describes advanced stage anorexia it's about a teenage girl who wants to be so skinny that she rots from view it has been widely inter- interpreted as a reflection of the band's guitarist and lyricist's own personal struggle with the disease which was confirmed by the band's bassist wow <laughs> it was um it was very dense um it, it wasn't as like intense as i thought it was gonna be it was actually there's borderline jangle pop elements in there uh to some degree yeah that i feel like that gave me like zero insight into what the rest of the album is going to sound like though um yeah that was that was very compelling very interesting and it it constantly like shifted like there was always some kind of like weird genre bending and mixing going on in there um yeah i mean i'm i'm much more interested in the album now i was very scary before and it still kind of is but um yeah that that was like a lot to unpack there and like upon future listens i could probably unpack even more from it it's a, a borderline like math rock in principle, but not in, you know, it, 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 there's just a lot to figure out, you know, it is a, a jarring listen in a way. Um, but very compelling, very compelling. So yeah, uh, at some point I'll react to that album. Um, maybe it'll show up on a poll. I think it showed up on a poll at one point, uh, which occasionally I do polls for album reactions. And I think this showed uh, up on one, but it didn't, it didn't win. Um, so yeah, Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Godspeed.